just uh, at the, this Waffle House shooting, and I want to do that right now. Um, we have uh, Abedi De Silva, the brother of one of the victims, Aquila De Silva, and Lancelot De Silva, Aquila's cousin. Uh, and so I just want to thank both of you for coming on, and my sincerest uh, condolences for for the loss of your brother. Thank you. Thank you. Much appreciated. Uh, 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 Beatty, if I could just begin with you, because I also know you were at Waffle House, and we have been reporting the last hour that this man has been caught and is in custody and faces four criminal, four criminal counts of, of homicide. What are you thinking? Uh, it's just, um, it's just all, I'm just still processing it, processing it in my head, you know, I'm just relieved, um, you know, my mom is, uh, Happy that he's caught, um, you know. So, I'm uh, it's, it's a sense of relief, but at the same time, I'm still getting it all processed in my head. How are you doing? How's your mom doing? Um, we're holding up. We're having a lot of family support, a lot of support from everyone. Um, so, you know, we're just trying to stay strong as possible with the whole situation and um, trying to not let his name uh, be in vain. Mm -hmm. And you have your cousin there to, to help you out and to give you strength. Um, and, and Lancelot, feel free to jump in. But, but Abadie, if I can just continue the conversation with you, because you were, not only have you lost your brother, you were there at the Waffle House. Can you tell me uh, what you remember seeing? Um, I didn't really see too much, you know. We just, we just heard gunshots and we just uh, ran. And I hit for cover, and I just know I just kept hearing the shots get closer and closer to where I was at. So uh, that was really more. Of a, that was really most of it. What happened until you know we stopped hearing the sounds, and then I came and ran looking for my brother, and he uh, I couldn't find him. So then uh. Uh, finally, when I everybody ran out of the Waffle House once everything was clear, and uh, when I went to the end of the uh, where we parked at, I seen him inside still. So then that's when I uh, ran back in there to him and his girlfriend, and they were both right there, and they were both conscious, talking to me. You know, the um, police said he had was shot in the arm, and paramedics said he was shot in the arm at the time. So, you know, uh, we thought everything was gonna be okay because he was shot in the arm and she was shot in the leg. Um, and then, yeah, so I didn't think he was going to pass. Yeah, it, it's, it's, it's crazy, um, the tragedy that I was made aware of that Sunday morning and mm. um, beginning when all the details started to unravel and understanding that, you know, my cousin was there um, and could have been impacted by that event as well. Um, so, you know, special thanks to uh, James Shaw. Um, who was able to wrestle out that weapon from the individual because I could have got a call that morning that two of my cousins was dead um, that morning. And we come from a Caribbean background, and so the way we are raised with our cousins, it's not like a cousin relationship. This is, this is my brother. Um, mm -hmm. My brother was also lost in um, that senseless act of terrorism, and it's sad. Uh, we're definitely greatly appreciative of all the love and support that we've gotten from friends, families, um, and just those who are concerned about it. But uh, we'll, we'll continue to take on more and more um, support because it's, it's definitely a tough pill for our family to swallow. Yeah. I, I'm glad you. I'm glad you said that. That your cousins are your brothers, and you you could have lost, you know, your other cousin, your other brother. Can you both of you just take a moment and tell me about Aquila? I, I mean, I, I'll start. Um, but if you can find one person who was an enemy or had anything ill to say about Aquila. Um, I will call that person a, a hater, to be exact. Uh, he didn't make any enemies. He was loved by so many. Uh, most importantly for me, because the last conversation uh, that we had with one another was about his artwork. Uh, he was a musician. He, I wouldn't just classify him as a musician. I would classify him as an artist. Uh, mm. He was a lyrical artist. He was a, a visual artist, and he had so much so many good works and products to release to the world. Um, and it's so sad that 
you know, uh, an act that I can't even begin to comprehend, uh, cut that short. Uh, I say cut that short. Uh, uh, I, I don't know if that's the truth. I, I hopefully this the platform that he has now that the world can truly see how great of an artist he was, um, and and the the talent of a, such a talented soul that we we lost uh, Sunday morning. I am so sorry, uh, 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 Beatty. Can you tell me a little bit about your brother and also his girlfriend's in the hospital? How is she doing? Um, she's well. Um, she had surgery earlier this morning. Um, she, I've spoken to her since then. Um, we're gonna go see her at the hospital. Um, I mean, she's not well. She's in pain, and you know, she's just traumatized about the whole situation. You know, so um, you know, Akila and her was like together every day, every day, all the time. So they do everything together. His work he did. She was right there with him. Um, so they, they was really like. And love, so it's like I know it's really like bothering her. So yeah, we're gonna go up there and support her. But um, he he was just a a good guy, man. You know, um, he was my younger brother, like six years apart. But um, I respected him and looked up to him in so many ways because you know I could it's just certain things I just was like I just looked at him. He was so smart, you know, real humble, compassionate, loving, you know, um, real smart, you know, real quick thinker. A uh, fast learner, like you know, he anything he put him to, he he's real competitive about it, and he's real big on like trying to get the mission done. So you know, it's just to know that he's never been in nothing and gotten in any trouble, and just randomly we could just having a conversation in the car about our future, and to think that that was gonna probably be one of our last conversations. Um, it's just unreal right now. I'm just trying to just process everything in right now. But like I, like my cousin was saying, we definitely want to um, keep his name in memory because I know how, that's what he would want. Mm -hmm. He would want us to push it and to just keep his name alive. And um, he was talented, so you know, I just hope that. You know, I mean, it just sucks that he's not here to see it. Yeah. But you know. We just want to keep his name alive and uh, keep his music going and keep his uh, his artwork going and just let the world see that, um, yeah, we lost someone real talented. I, I appreciate y'all. It is it is senseless, but let's say his name again, uh, Aquila Da Silva. Uh, guys, thank you. Uh, our best to his girlfriend who's in the hospital.